Hi everyone, this is Miss M and my very first Q&A. I want to thank you all who sent me questions through YouTube and Instagram and a big, big thank you to all of you who have subscribed. So, I'm going to answer all the questions now. Let's go. First question. What got you into ASMR roleplays? Hmm. Well, it was quite simple really. I was listening to lots of ASMR roleplays. I enjoyed them very much and still do. Uh, one day I was thinking, oh man, it could be really fun to make this myself. It combines a lot of my hobbies and things I'm into, like um, writing short stories, acting. Uh, I actually was acting on stage when I was a teenager in a um, kind of theatre school club kind of thing. And video editing and specifically sound editing to create a world or atmosphere using only sounds. Hmm. I think that's so interesting and fun. And so I just tried it and got hooked. And I've had so much fun. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Hmm. Okay. Do you see yourself doing this long term or is this a hobby? Um, I would say a long term hobby. <laughs> of course I would love, love to do this as my day job. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do like my day job. I work as a nanny in a private daycare that emphasizes music, actually. Hmm. But I will do this as long as I'm having fun and as long as I enjoy it. It is a hobby for now. Of course, if in the future it could become something full time, oh man, that would be awesome. Okay, uh, do you want to do more series or do one of fades? And if so, what's the most you're willing to give? Like 5 to 10 episodes, maybe. Um, I would say both. But definitely, I enjoy making series more. Because then I can evolve the character and the relationship between the listener and the character. And if it's a series, I can also add so much more details to the worlds the characters are living in. Yeah, and I would love to do very long series. Um, I know, for example, the Vampire Mistress chooses you were only four parts, but I have been planning some more role plays with that character. I don't know, would that be like a spin-off kind of thing? But yeah, and I know many stories have been not continued yet but they probably will like the witch's apprentice and spy story and flirty vampire and galaxy defenders and so on more is coming my question is what do you use for audio like mic headphones etc <laughs> oh man my headphones are old as heck <laughs> and my mic is Blue Microphone Snowball Eyes. For editing I use Wondershare Filmora and I just got WavePad Sound Editor. So yeah, I guess my tech is not anything super fancy, mm, but it works for now. Of course I can upgrade at some point. Do people in your life know about your channel? Yes, some of them. And 
Uh, well, not all of them who I have told know the name of the channel though. But everyone has been super supportive and happy for me. Uh, I just... Hmm. I'm not embarrassed. But I don't know how some of my family or friends would react to the um, plus 18 stuff. Don't get me wrong, I like to make plus 18 content. I enjoy it. Um, but I would think not many of my close friends or family would want to listen to that. So I guess my channel is kinda a half secret. Um, but there are a few that knows the name as well. Mm, of course I want to share it, because I'm proud of it. But yes, they know. What kind of characters do you like playing the most? I love vampires and other fantasy characters, uh, well, the kind of wholesome girlfriend characters are also nice to do. Uh, do you have a ASMR favorite video and what is your own favorite ASMR video from yourself? Oh man. I listen lots and lots of ASMR, but mm, I would say I have really enjoyed listening uh, Zombie Cat ASMR's Yandere role plays. I also have listened to I See Narrates Mobster series. Um, anything from kindred spirit uh, to choose a favorite from my own role plays well hmm. I have had so much fun to do collabs so any of my collab audios for sure like the final for vampire mistress chooses you and the manner of mist series uh, and if I would choose a audio that has only me voice acting, that would be hmm, girlfriend makes you breakfast in bed, or shy girlfriend tries to be dumb. <laughs> that was very fun to do. But I'm very proud of all of my audios. Okay. Remember that poll that helped launch the Oracle video? Yes. Yes, I do. I was wondering, will we see the other two options be made later on? Also, will you be doing the seven virtues after you wrap up the seven deadly sins once you complete the frat sister video? For sure, I will make a mermaid and an elf character at some point. And yes, I have been planning to make um, all of the seven virtues as well. That will be interesting for sure. More sweet and wholesome than the sins. Though I kind of tried to find something good from the seven deadly sisters as well, if you noticed. Okay, this is something I have been asked a lot before. <laughs> Where does your accent come from? And why is your accent so fucking awesome? <laughs> My accent. Well, I am from Finland. My first language is Finnish. Um... We start to learn English in school when we are about nine years old. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, all the audios for those language lessons were British English. So I think that can affect my accent. And well, all the English programs on TV are subbed here, 
so I listen to English a lot. Um, I know there will be words that I just can't pronounce correctly, not ever. Um, but I have been so happy that you don't mind and that you actually like my accent. So, yeah, thank you for that. But I think that's the reason of my accent. I have also used lots of English with some of my friends and in work and when I've been traveling, when that was possible. Hmm. Okay, next question. My question is how you grow your channel. I really need to take notes on that. Oh, difficult question. Hmm. I sometimes forget how short time I've been doing this. So yeah, our ASMR family on this channel has grown quite fast. And thank you for that. Hmm. I've been very active, uploading lots of content. Hmm. And I have my Instagram and but I think the biggest reason is that I have uploaded a lots of audios in a short time mm. and I have tried to make content that will be in some way unique that's kind of hard these days though because there is so much content in YouTube that all characters and story types are presented already but I think I have succeeded to give some of my own spices and twists to the characters and storylines and I try to be very interactive with all of you I enjoy doing that I love how this channel feels very much like a community and yeah, well, I know I can't keep uploading at this speed, um, but for the beginning I think that was good to have a collection of audios. Um, in the future there will be two uploads per week. I have been planning that Tuesdays and Fridays will be my future uploading days. Plus, if I have extra time or some kind of event, I will upload more than that. Yeah, but what else? I would say just be yourself uh, and have fun. That would be, I think, the most important thing. If it's not fun to do, then why do it? Hmm. And if you don't love the content you are making, then something has to change. I think that's all I can think of. Do you put milk first or cereal first? <laughs> cereal. Mm. I don't eat a lot of cereal. But if I do, cereal first. For sure. What's your favorite food? I love food and I love to eat. I'm like gluttony. I would say home cooked food. Mm. I love pasta and chicken and salads. Do you play video games? If so, what is your favorite? Oh, I do play video games. I do and I um, play lots of Skyrim and Sims 4. Yes, mm, but other games too, but I think those two are my favorite. What is your favorite kind of music? Okay, uh, let's start a little bit backstory here. When I was a teenager, my grandfather taught me to listen blues and jazz. He would uh, put headphones on my head and tell me who was singing or playing. So blues and jazz were and are still important to me. 
but I enjoy rock music mm, like Guns N' Roses and ACDC and Motley Crue and Marilyn Manson but I love pop music mm, Korean pop and yeah I would say I enjoy lots of different kinds of music I love to dance and well, maybe only the most heavy metal, screaming kind of music is not my type. Uh, and I don't listen to Finnish music. <laughs> or not so much of that. But anything else? Hmm. Okay. Would a chicken smoothie taste good or would I immediately cry? <laughs> I would cry so much. I love chicken, but a chicken smoothie, oh, that would be just wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I have only one question, and it is <laughs> how you are so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I can't say. I'm just... I am just awesome, <laughs> I guess. And you are all awesome. Remember that. Do you have any useless party tricks? Mm, well, uh, I read tarot cards, if that is a party trick. I did read for people at a Halloween party once. Mm. What is your favorite song? Mm, we did talk about music before. Right now... Uh, there are so many... Uh, that I like, but... Well, Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. Mm, Marilyn Manson's Tainted Love. Um, Alice Cooper's Poison Then there is this one song that I really like What was it? Cake by the Ocean I think it's by D-N-C-E Yeah I also really love Leslie Gore The songs You Don't Own Me and it's my party and anything from BTS or Blackpink or Shakira and many more Will you do a face reveal in the future? Mm, I don't know I really don't know I think how I look is not really that important and if I'm very honest with you I'm very insecure about how I look, so I can't say for sure. I was thinking I could show some old photos when I was 20 something. I know that's kind of cheating, but it would be still me, just the more young version of me. Uh, yeah, so I have not told exactly how old I am either. But I guess that is not that is not important. <laughs> but I have said before that I'm in my thirties. Mm, so there, you know that much. <laughs> but if you want to see Miss M when she was twenty something, I can reveal some photos of that. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. What is your favorite anime and why is it your favorite? I watch lots of anime and I have many series that I like. Mm. First series I fell in love with was Sailor Moon. Uh, but I have enjoyed lately uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, Detective Conan. The Ancient Magus Bride, 
I think it's in uh, Japanese. It's Maho Tsukai no Yome. And I also love Studio Ghibli movies. And why I like these series and movies? Well, anything with magic, fantasy worlds, and adventures, I like. Or sometimes just the main character can be so interesting. Or the style of the animation is so pretty. And stories. Stories are important as well. To be surprising and emotional. How often do you listen to ASMR and what type of ASMR videos do you usually listen to? I have been listening to ASMR almost every day. Mm. Usually role plays and usually boyfriend audios or vampire audios or yandere audios but I have been listening to all kinds Who is your favorite from the seven deadly sins? Mm, I think I have top three Gluttony Sloth and Lust Would you rather be with a yandere or tsundere? <laughs> oh my Mm. In real life, not either one, but in my fantasies, mm, I usually choose Yandere. And I think it's because Tsundere, they are so mean. <laughs> And I love to be submissive. So yeah, Yandere. Though Yandere are crazy. I always end up listening to Yandere and not so much to Tsundere audios so that will be my choice <laughs> to be kidnapped <laughs> help <laughs> oh man okay last question how would you describe yourself in three words I would say I am Caring, dreamer, and positive thinker. Well, there was maybe more than three words, <laughs> but that is me in a nutshell. Thank you all for your questions, and thank you for subscribing, and thank you for listening this far. If you did, I will send you all hugs and kisses. Stay safe. Bye.